Hey everybody, what's up, and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew. I was about to say Ransom of the Seven Ships, but we just finished Ransom of the Seven Ships. We even got a little ship here. We are on Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy, and I am really excited about this, because for one thing, this is one of my favorite Nancy Drew games, but for another thing, it's also the last one, which I guess is not so much an exciting thing as so much a sad thing. But I'm really looking forward to just savoring this. Like, I think it's going to be a great time. So if you're excited about this, let me know by demolishing the like button for me, subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the little bell so you can get notified of the next episode. We are going to be just cracking these puzzles, just going deep into these mysteries here, and having a good time with it. So, I didn't notice this until... Um, I watched Argle Fump's Everything Wrong with the Nancy Drew intro um, video that he just posted over Thanksgiving weekend. But um, if you look over here, you can see that there's like a house and it's level with this window even though Nancy's on the second floor of her house. Isn't that kind of a little strange? Oh well. Um, can we not turn that on anymore? Or wait, do we do it here? Ah, there we go. And there's our sheep from Malloy. Let's look at the scrapbook so we can uh, do this one last time. You can look at Ransom of the, of, of the uh, Seven Ships. And yeah, we get some photos of all the stuff. That coin about the Atosha. All that. But let's take a look at what we've got now. Is there anything new for this As game? As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping oh. into my shoes and deciding my every move. In this game, you'll be able to sneak around the halls of the dorm after curfew, but don't get caught. We got a Look phone. For a good hiding place when someone's coming. You'll know you found one when you see the sneak cursor. All right. So yeah, we got an iPhone in this game, or at least a smartphone. It's not really an iPhone, but this is the first game that Nancy has a smartphone, guys. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the first one. I. Well, wait a minute. Is it the first one? Because I don't think we had one in the. Uh... Um, Phantom of Venice or Haunting a Castle Malloy. Yeah, because in Malloy we had to call back home a bunch. And then in Phantom of Venice, um, we had the little, like, pager thing, but not really a phone. And, yeah, so I, I don't think we've really had a smartphone, like, chronologically before now. So this is going to be awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the case file. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me, actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. Ooh. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. <laughs> I gotta admit, I love the idea of this case, of Nancy actually interacting with people her age, because I don't think we've really had anything like that. I mean, I guess Secrets Can Kill counts, but this is, I think, way better than Secrets Can Kill. I'm gonna um, lower the volume down, because I feel me, like the volume's a little louder in this game, even at that level, so hopefully it's not gonna be too loud. And let's go ahead and get going. See what we're going to get into here. Let's go with Senior Detective. We got some wind and rain two weeks ago. It was a dark and stormy night as someone discovered that their time is up. Okay. Hopefully someone let her out. Hey, you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. 
I'm Corrine, the person who stuffed rooming with you. I mean, you're the person who stuffed rooming with me. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are, technically, but you're not really, because I'm so... Never mind. I can tell this girl and I are very much alike. I tend to overthink things in social situations all the time. Which one is my bed? That one. Used to be Danielle's. My old roommate. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. You see, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just... left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you, some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Oh, no. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway... Now that you're here, first thing you got to do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by page Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Mm. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Wait a minute, Hello? you mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? Oh. I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something. Or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. The latter Whatever. sounds more likely. Not gonna work on me. Um, let's ask her about the black cat notes. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding. May I see it? Sorry. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Yeah, where was that? We saw it at the very beginning with the intro and everything, but did she take it with her? I mean, she got locked in the closet, so we didn't really see where it went. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Does she ever stop playing? Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. I don't mind cello music. I think it's pretty awesome, actually. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that... Well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. I get the impression that Kareen is not the most popular person. Um, I don't really have any reason to go out there, so let's not do that. Uh, so this is our room. I guess this is... Is this our bed? I'm gonna assume this is our bed. Because I think that's the teddy bear that gets used in some of the tutorials. Mr. Wiggly Woggly or whatever. Um, we can look at Nancy's bag. Oh, it's a picture of Bess and George on the beach from the last game. That's cool. Hello, Someone Becca. Named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Hello, Becca. Welcome to Waverly. Since you just transferred here and don't really have any papers due or exams to study for, unlike the rest of us, 
I could really use your help on this project I'm working on. Please come see me as soon as you can. My room's at the other end of the hall. That sounds like chores, doesn't it? Thank you so much, Rachel. Well, at least she properly indents her letter, for the most part. Uh, we can't look at anything else there. Anything down there? Nope, nothing there. Can we look at the closet where Danielle got locked? I guess we can't. All right, let's go outside. Whoa! Oh, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay, okay. I was about to say, that's kind of a strange request right this there. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. So, gossip? There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. Hmm... Something tells me that that girl is going to be a real handful to deal with. So that seems to go downstairs, so let's go check this area out. Oh, this is Mel's room. She's the um, this cello person. Help! Disappearing under a mound of laundry. Can I borrow some detergent? It's open. Whoa, check out her room. I like the decor. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? Kicked out? What? No, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth has been suggesting otherwise. Who's that? Is he? Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say text? Oh boy. I can tell that being on this local network thing is going to be a blast. So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. You sound a little skeptical. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Hmm. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate, Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. That's true, but you seem to be downplaying this quite a bit. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. Hmm. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. Okay. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast, too. So we get along pretty well. I gotta admit, I like this girl. She's definitely kind of my type. She's definitely different. She's got cool decor, really neat hair, and a super awesome taste in musical instruments. Smarter, you or Corrine? She thinks she's smarter than everybody and won't hesitate to say so, which I think automatically makes me smarter. It's probably a toss up. No biggie. No biggie? Don't you want to be valedictorian? I'm going to college no matter what, but everyone else wants to be valedictorian so much I can't resist trying to spoil it for them. Enough to be the black cat? Who else is Corrine friends with? Well, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Oh. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was ten. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd better get going. Sounds good. All right. So what else do we got here? Oh, hey, it's that Neo poster from the final scene. We got a face bust thingy with glasses or goggles and... uh. What's this? 
read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. So, nepotism? Also, if this was made by somebody who was here originally, you know what that means. We're going to go on a treasure hunt. Also, hey, that looks like one of the uh, the dolls from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. All right. Um, oh, hey, it's the creepy corner thing from uh, old Secret of the Old Clock. See, now I'm recognizing all these things. Now I've played all the games. Okay, so it looks like that's it. Let's head out here. Hey, the restroom. Becca Sawyer, you rock. <laughs> I do like how her name is Becca Sawyer. That's a nice Tom Sawyer reference. Also, do they have to put this sign on here considering that it's only girls who live here? Alright, um... Oh, hey, it's Izzy and someone named Leela Yadav. Oh. Let's check out I'm the being phone. I'm gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Newbie Siding and Val Can Hall. Oh, valedictorian candidate, I'm assuming. Becca Sawyer has landed. And hey, we don't even get to see who this is from. So are we anonymous if we were to type something in here? All right, so we can call people on here. We don't... Oh, here we go. We got contacts. We'll, we'll play with that here in a little bit. But for now... Oh, we can take pictures? Awesome. That I'm going to do during the game. Now that I actually have the ability to do it in-game and reference stuff. We got clock, which allows us to go to sleep and wake up. Um, messages, which is the the gossip thread, and settings. Ooh, we get to change our background and everything. So we get Dread Isle, we get the shack from Kapu Cave, Icicle Creek, Castle Malloy, and Bolay Gardens. I think I'm going to go with that last one. I do like the Bolay Gardens from uh, the uh, Crystal Skull. Eh, I don't like that tone. Oh, that could be cool. A uh, mooing sound. Eh. That sounds a little weird. That could be funny, but I like the mooing. Okay, so alarms. What do we have here? Eh, that's kind of generic. We need something more interesting. Nah. That could be cool. Nah. Come on, we need something more than just percussion and ringy dingy sounds. Okay, that's cute, but it's kind of a little bit too... Well, I guess this is also a morning thing too, but I, I think this has more character. Alright, we'll go with that, and I think that's it. Can we change the... Oh, here we go, we can change the color. Uh, red could be good. I'm not really a yellow person. I think... I'm tempted to use green for the gardens, but I think red actually works really well. All right, so locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. We can't get into her room, but we were supposed to drop by this uh, Rachel Hubbard's room. So let's see what she wants. Don't forget study group tonight. It's not locked. Someone didn't lock their door. Hey. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did. I did. If you're Rachel Hubbard, that's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. Um, I'm not exactly sure I can. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work. Take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. Is that ethical? You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. 
I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs, I hate cauliflower, my favorite subject's math, and I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. Uh, oh, I had to grab that. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. Okay. I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Okay. Oh, we actually can't take her picture right now? Someone didn't lock their door. But apparently we can't go in. Okay. So I guess we'll have to come back there later. Um, I'll worry about taking the pictures after we get done exploring. And we could pull the fire alarm, but I'm assuming that that's probably not going to be good. I need to go down to the library and read up on this demerit thing. Alright, so apparently we're in the rec room slash snack shop area. All electronics are to be turned off when not in use. Oh, I guess so your phone doesn't go off or whatever. Well, I'm not going to obey that rule. I can use my cell phone wherever I want. For whatever reason, the game allows us to do that, so. And hey, there's a dartboard here. Puzzles Battle Gories. Or is it Gory Battles? I don't know. And there's a light switch and a door. Let's go see what's inside. Um, there's some snacks, a key to something, and it seems to be it. I don't think there's really anything else. <clears throat> anything in that box? Nope, we can't look at that. There's a TV here. Rec room quiet hours, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Press menu for stations. Have a safe prep week break. I don't know what what that menu button is even for, I or where it is. Like I don't even see a remote or anything anywhere. So and there's no button on the TV labeled that. So I don't think you can actually watch the TV. And oh hey, there's somebody here. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back. Becca something. Uh huh. Becca Sawyer. I'm Leila Yada. Welcome to Waverly. Thanks. At least you didn't say anything kind of underhanded about us. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't you? Yeah, but I I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web. <laughs> she project. rolled her eyes. That's too bad. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel. Both, but mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Mm, she doesn't seem so bad. Although if she continues doing this, then maybe she will be kind of a little bit iffy. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do Ooh. something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, huh. it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? I oh, did. Yeah, I heard. See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame, and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Hmm. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I going to let a couple of stupid notes get to me. A couple of. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. All right. You don't actually have to do a whole lot uh, as far as... Uh, you okay over there? I took it. Uh, you don't actually have to do a whole lot as far as zooming and panning and whatnot. Uh, when taking these photos, but there's some that are a little picky uh, and a little fidgety. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Oh. Why not? She's just a pain. 
She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Yeah. Most people, at least. Mel Corbulus and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Yeah, Mel said as much. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. All right. Nice to meet you. Uh, so there's the air hockey table. And this is the snack shop, apparently. Cool. Maybe we can get a snack at some point. And hey, there's a Nancy Drew flyer or something there. What do we got in this cabinet here? Ooh, we can open it. Odyssey Championship. Okay. We don't know what that's all about, but... And there's something in there. I'm not sure what. Uh, can we look at that other case? I guess we can't. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Um, we can't go into there, so we need to go into this area. And there's a piano. And here's the front entrance. We can go outside. Ah, it's a nice day outside. I don't want to leave just yet. Oh, I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to look around. I guess we can't go over there. Okay. There's a gigantic tree with some kind of animal. Oh, hey, there's a squirrel there. Okay. Nice to see squirrels. I don't know why I said that, but it is nice to see squirrels. All right, we got a plaque here. War Waverly Academy for Young Girls. Let's see, this would be 1,856, 1866. And we got Locked. a cellar door. Does that key we found go? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back when we find the key, but looks like that's all we can do out here. Ramsey Hall. I kind of want to see what the rest of the school looks like, like where all the classrooms are and all that. Hey, we can play the piano. I just made that up. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... Fun that we can play on the piano. I'm sure that will come in handy at some point. Let's see, what do we got here? We have some pictures of dogs and people and fruits and... What is this? Oh! E6, A5, B5, C5. Wait a minute. These have piano markings, like piano patterns on them. So are these musical notes? Well, we'll worry about that later. And we got a bunch of spoons. Looks like I need a key. Oh, can we use this key? We can. All right. We got a bunch of spoons that we can touch. Who wants to bet that there's like a combination lock associated with that? Checked out to El Yadov. I wonder what this is. All right. All right, looks like we found the library. Let's see if Izzy is in here. There she is. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette Delore are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. Man, no one likes Kareen except for Mel. You don't like Kareen either? Nobody likes Kareen. She must have some friends. Nope. Nobody who's worth being friends with, anyway. Oh. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. I'm not a big fan of Izzy, to be honest. Do you like your roommate? My roommate's Lila Yadev. Athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. 
I'm definitely hearing a lot of that. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Wow, this Ready girl is savage. Darling. Okay. Let's do that. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Kareem doesn't like her. Oh? She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. I don't know. I think there's more to her than meets the eye. What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe that's just who she is. You don't think she's that smart? Book smart? Maybe. People smart? Complete zero. If her mother hadn't gone here, they wouldn't have allowed her within 50 miles of this place. In fact, I think she's a borderline psychopath. Ouch. I think Mel is pretty cool. Also, people smart? I don't think you're very much an expert on people smart. Just gonna say that. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. I think the notes are kind of creepy. I think they're just a stupid distraction. And the person sending them should be expelled. Not that who that person is is any great mystery. Oh? It isn't? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? It could be anybody who wants to be valedictorian, Izzy. Come on. Why the black cat? Why isn't this person sending notes from the black snake or the red spider or something? The red well, spider? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but supposedly there was a teacher here once a long time ago that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. Oh. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Dun dun dun. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. All right. I'll catch you later. No problem. I would go with the red scorpion, uh, to be honest. All right, let's see what else we got here in the library. We need to get on a computer, apparently. This seems to be a good place for that. Oh, Kareen is the library assistant. Those are Roman numerals. 2,641? Is that it? Is that what we need to open this? Aha! We got it. Oh, hey, it's Bess's bracelet from the last game. Oh, there's nothing in here we can take, so I'm, I'm going to assume we need to open that later. All right, let's see what the computer has. Waverly website. Um, I don't really know what my password is. See student body president for password assistance. Okay, so we need to talk to Miss Izzy about this, huh? And oh, we can go in here. Oh, but we can't go in there. Darn. Okay. Well, I think we will talk to Izzy about the password in the next video. But until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been off to a great start so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I have. And I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you then.